March 6, 2008. From Atlanta, hi, I'm Brad Fallon. Welcome to the Free Line. First up, Facebook announced a new music section with direct integration with iTunes. This is part of the toolkit that we announced last week that will allow bands to post music to their Facebook pages, chat with fans, and even upload samples for people to hear. If the listeners like the sample, they'll now be able to purchase the full tracks or album from iTunes without ever leaving Facebook. The Efficient Frontier has been stacking up the statistics for web services, and they give a detailed report on Google's click-through ratio that we reported had dropped in the last quarter. By their estimates, Google's decrease was more about Google making their pay-per-click ads more relevant, and so they were able to charge more per click than before. I'm sure the increasing number of advertisers isn't hurting either. Well, social networking fans beware. It looks like the next big step for hackers is attacking Web 2.0 hangouts like MySpace and Facebook. The target of the attacks are varied and spreading fast, so we'll keep you posted on this. Expect to see Facebook, for example, tightening up their rules regarding Facebook apps. And earlier this month, the free photo hosting site PhotoBucket gave users the ability to edit their photos online using the PhotoFlexer tool. PhotoFlexer is a free image editor that runs right in your browser, giving you the power of Photoshop online for free. Until next time, for the Free Line, I'm Brad Fallon. For Web 2.0 news you can use in 2.0 minutes, visit FreelineReport.com.